Hey, what's up everybody? Here we are in my whip, my car, uh, my baby, my 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 everything. Uh, <laughs> so I had to kind of change scenes. So here's the thing. Today's topic is about art and how to sell yourself. Listen, this is not gonna be something crazy like YouTube -y, whatever. Um I have my own way of doing things. Not to say that this is the end all be all, the greatest thing ever, because there are still flaws in my system. But the thing is, is I've learned over the years since I've been doing freelancing, since I was like 18, uh, I'm 31 now. So when it comes down to selling your art, you wanna have your consultation charges and your actual uh, prices. But here's the thing don't always just set normal prices you know uh make sure they're customizable to you from different things and how you actually run your business so let's jump off into the steps and uh it's gonna be a little ah uh, what's the word mm, off and on jumbled up it, forgive me for that it's just me this is a passion and also my livelihood so let's go ahead and get into that. So step number one is when you are trying to mediate business through your actual talents of being an artist, when people are trying to um, use you, hire you, whatever, you wanna make sure you have a steady price that you are happy with when it comes down to selling yourself. So selling yourself, it, it's, it's complicated and numbers scare people. And this is what's gonna cause a lot of people to just run away from you. Here's the thing, tons of people run away from me. You wanna know why? Because I'm expensive. But the thing is, is I spent years of practice working on both my graphic design, my illustration, and now my social media marketing skills. And I sell that as well. So they need to understand if they want good service and they want continuous good service and make sure it's, uh it goes in the directions that they need it to go into, then they need to pay that. If they don't understand that, they really don't understand art in general or the services that you're actually trying to deliver to them. You get bad work when you go cheap, but also when you want amazing stuff, you're gonna have to be paying higher prices for that. Don't get me wrong, you don't have to be crazy, crazy expensive but do what you can to get what you want out of it that you see is profitable for you for your time and for your skill set. Now, there's a difference when it comes down to skill set and your pricing. Now, if you're a new uh, artist that's trying to start selling yourself and doing commissions, that's totally fine. That gets you practice. Do 20 bucks here, do $15 there, do 50 bucks here for that type of thing. You know, the money, you know, comes and goes. But being able to solidify the people that are trying to use you in a big service on a big project is where your bigger amount of money comes from. So to figure out what your customer or client, whatever, needs, make sure you ask a lot of questions. And this is a part when it comes into consultation. Consultation, you know, I've had a number of people waste my time with just talking to me and picking my brain for things. And it's... It's cool because it does get your your mojo going, makes you makes you feel important to know the things that they want to know on what you do and what you can do for them. But also they're looking to find someone cheap enough that they can keep moving forward on whatever they're trying to do in their project with art or social media marketing or uh, their branding and graphic design. They come to freelancers thinking that they are going to be cheaper because they're not under an, an actual business title or a big corporate job where they're gonna be paid hourly from that job to work with a, you know, a potential client. So when you are a freelancer in this, you're gonna be making a whole lot more money as long as you are delivering the correct information and in uh, trying to sell to the proper client don't get me wrong I get tons of people asking me oh what is this charge what are you gonna do for this you know is for a logo I charge three hundred dollars you want to know why because I set it up in a corporate level now it depends on the person I do 300 for small businesses and guess what I'm gonna do it right for you you go to Fiverr 
and you're going to get what you pay for. 300 DPI size for a logo that they generate on Taylor Branding or some other type of quick generation logo thing, it's gonna be like 300 DPI, but it's gonna be this small. So when you blow that up, it's gonna be pixelated as all crap. You don't want that. So deliver value on what you have in your skill set to the correct clients. Now, for beginners here and there, when you get into this business, you need to make sure you have the correct amount of skills. If you don't have a lot of people looking at you for what you do, you know, you may have to really, you know, put yourself out there more to gain more attention to try to drive more clientele to you. Now, if you are trying to gain the skill set on being a graphic designer, being an illustrator, keep working on that because the factors are if you are still in the amateur range of art or design, you are going to be selling yourself as that. Therefore, clientele is going to be trying to make you cheaper if you're trying to sell basic looking designs or basic looking characters in your drawing and stuff like that. When that comes into play, you're going to be, you know, building your name on that and you don't want to do that. You know, you don't want to be known for the cheap guy. You don't want to be known for, oh yeah, they're easy to work with and they're cheap, you know. No, you want to be known for your skill, for your time, and for the perfection of quality. Even though, here's the thing, even I try to perfect my stuff, sometimes I lowball it. And granted, there's still clients that will love it. Don't get me wrong, I do put in my efforts. But sometimes what the client wants is really bad. And sometimes you're gonna have to do those bad arts. I do some of that bad art. And sometimes I have to tell the client, it's like, okay, I did this, are you happy? Oh, and they're immensely happy. Yeah, 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 happy, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, don't tell nobody I did this. It's that serious. So when it comes down to your time, time is valuable. A lot of people will mess up your time when it comes down to trying to get uh, free information from you um, so they can try to figure some things out for themselves so they don't have to pay you as much. Uh, so you wanna try and get whatever it is out of them to help you. I mean, the factor is with money, money is a tool, not a thing to be greedy with. Granted, people get greedy. Don't get me wrong, I would love to be a freaking millionaire. But the thing is, is like, if you don't make the proper money for you and your time and your skills, you're hurting yourself for the long run to be helping somebody else out in the factors of in with your skills or, you know, if you make a good amount of money, charity. I'm not saying everybody's got to do that, but you know, to be wealthy, it's a good thing. Art is everything. And when you cheap yourself out when it comes down to art, guess what? More people that can't do it are going to constantly lean on that whole thing that art should be cheap. And that's the reason why we tend to have so many issues when it comes down to what we, you know, produce as artists. It is not cool whatsoever when or someone comes to me and requests a tattoo design and I tell them, okay, the details for that would be like around uh, four to five hundred dollars. Four to five hundred dollars, man, that's, I could get that at the actual tattoo place. Well, first off, I'm not the tattoo artist. Second, I'm not putting the ink in you and you're taking away an original of mine. You're going to go take this to have somebody copy it on you when the tattoo artist is just as good as me or whatever. Unless you're going to your baby cousin Day Day and he's starting to get into the whole tattoo business black market like. You know, the thing is, is he may not even be able to you know, construct the lines that I do. So there's a thing right there. Time, you know, you took time to put in the efforts to learn what you did to get to the artistic skill that you are in. People need to learn how to pay for that time and the skill. If we don't allow them to uh, recognize that 
the skill set it is is valuable why are you coming to me about it yes there are plenty of others out there that can do it but it's not what you saw in me so charge by you know time by your skill you know there are things I lowball on myself. I abu I've abused myself with when it comes down to charging people. And it's hard. And there's nothing wrong with wanting what you want. And there's nothing wrong or shameful for having someone think that... Oh, oh he's too expensive. He's just trying to be greedy with the, with the money he's trying to get from me. N no. It's... It's more the factor is you still don't understand because here's the thing with whatever charge of skill set that they have it may not be art they want what they want but it's not fair when it comes down to artists trying to survive because I hate the whole thing of starving artists the whole starving artist has been a a label on us as artists and designers and stuff like that because we're scared of having people uh, try to make us come off as what we do is easy it is not easy it's like it's e yes it's easy for me to draw for myself in a lot of ways but there's still complications and all that it's harder for me to draw for someone for a client or design for a client because what they see in design even if they give me the high power details it's not the same thing that's in my head don't get me wrong, I try to hit the, you know, you know, I try to go through detail after detail after detail. But when it comes down to it, a lot of people are very, you know, super picky. They're, um, they really don't know what they want. They want you to do it and for them. But here's the thing, you do all that and you don't get any pay for it first. You have killed so much time that you could have been helping somebody else that was willing to pay you and you mess up and you like okay yeah I, I can't do this anymore I've had a client where I des I designed freely for their album cover and yeah I lowball charged him because it was his first rodeo mind you second his brother is a friend of mine and his and this client was in in the uh, next state over so our money wire transfer was completely different. Now he paid me first, right? So I designed what I needed to design for him. And I sent it to him. He did not like it. I mean, he liked the art, but he didn't give me any description. And of course, this is where I was wrong here. I shouldn't have done any designing for him unless he gave me a description. So he gives me a description afterwards. So I told him, it's like, okay, just give me a little bit of uh, more money and I'll redesign stuff. He got mad. He was just like, Nah, man. I believe in you to be able to like design what I need to do because I, I already paid you. I'm just like, that's not how it works. So when you don't give me the proper information first and I got to redo this stuff, I'm, I'm spinning my wheels on time. I did get to design what he wanted. Granted, he was mad. I had to go through his brother, his brother, as the uh, middleman for all this. So I got it all fixed up of his design work. But his brother had to mediate on what he really wanted, and he wanted to copy another album cover from an, a famous artist, which is beyond me. Is why in the world would you want to look like somebody else? Repeats. Anyway. I had to charge him another bit of money just to get what he wanted. But guess what? It wasn't that big of a deal. But he wanted me to send the money back. Okay, now remember, I said that he was in the next state over. All of our communication was through phone and email. How did he see what I designed for him? Because I sent the files. They're like, when I send files, there is no such thing as a refund for me. You wanna know why? Because I sent you digital files. Now you could say that you don't like it and take what I designed and go to someone cheaper and have them re-edit or rework it. It's not illegal unless there were certain legal contracts and stuff like that was that was in it. So, on all of that, I was able to get everything done for him and uh, he was happy. But, 
he ain't never spoke to me again. And uh, musicians, rappers, and stuff like that, they can be total drama queens. And uh, it's 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 kind of sad. But when it comes down to business and you want that type of uh, image, you're going to have to pay for it. But the best thing is, is have friends that are in these type of areas that can help you out with getting clientele, um, make sure you market yourself, talk about the things that you're studying when it comes down to uh, what you're getting into with your business, and you can start your business like uh, three years you know, for free before you get yourself an LLC and stuff like that. And as long as, and then as long as you're doing things as a freelancer, you're okay. But you know, make sure you take care of your taxes along with that. That's very important. Taxes. Woo. Yeah. Don't, don't mess with the government. Don't mess with the government. <laughs> Out of it all. That's what I wanted to say about all that. If, uh, if y'all like this video, hit, hit the like subscribe to whatever follow me share with friends most definitely share please for me um this information i'm only gonna do so much but if you leave a comment that you like this and it was informative here's the thing these are my methods on how i work things and it's not to say that you have to follow this exactly figure out what works for you everything is different everything is customizable whether I'm like some people may listen to this and also see something else that I may be leaving money on the table but also listen for a second <clears throat> like I said I have abused myself in this and learned from it and there are things that I have abused myself in recently that I should have been able to do as well and fix so when it comes down to it just l learn from people that have gone through the issues first in a lot of ways because it saves you money and it allows you to be safer on a lot of different reasons. It's best to learn from people that have made the mistakes before you make the mistakes. But you can grow from your mistakes. And that's all I wanted to say. So hopefully that helped you guys out or so. Uh, it's funny how this has been a thing that I've been wanting to kind of talk about with certain people. But here's the thing. Not everybody cares about what I have to say. And not to say that, oh, I'm scared of saying what I want to say. No, it's not that. It's more of the factor is I like it when people want to know these things and ask the correct people. I'm not saying everything I'm I got going on is going well for me in what I'm doing. I'm running uh, four businesses right now, and it's about to multiply into six. And uh, I'm working on my 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 get up and go here in the entrepreneur area for both graphic design, illustration, and social media marketing. I'm trying not to die early, but. I have some really cool training things under my belt that that has helped me out a lot. And servicing others does pay as long as you can make sure you service properly. So remember all that. And I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. And I had to do this in my car because uh, everywhere else for me to be able to make this video, like my usual spot in my office. It, it, it is just chaotic and um, I needed to find a different venue to do something uh, sometimes being static in one place is uh, uh, it, 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 it's depressing sometimes but anyway I hope y'all enjoyed the video uh, like I said share like follow uh, most definitely share if you got something out of this because when it comes down to it, this is the reasons why I don't post much on my Instagram right now because I have so much going on and I've had a hard time drawing for myself and I'm slowly struggling to keep working for people on their end on what they need and I got a number of people that are needing me on the whole design aspect because it, it helps, it helps. Anyway, see you guys later. Hope y'all have a great day. Glad I could do this for you guys. And uh, yeah, peace out.